All right, free agent news everywhere. Aaron Rodgers news. Lots to do in football today. Let's go, David. Oh, for Christ's sakes. You didn't tell me it was big black rumors. Well, now it's exciting. Here's why I wanted to do it this way. It's because technically it's the legal tampering period. So no one can officially sign until Wednesday. So we're going to do a rumor style. The first rumor that I'm hearing, (laughs) the 49ers (laughs) apparently are going to sign Javon Hargrave four years, $84 million, $40 million guaranteed. And David, what does this tell us about the salary cap? The salary cap is not real. Thank you. Well, it came at the expense of losing our quarterback. Jimmy G is going to be missed. You know what, David? We're struggling. Our defensive line was in shambles. We needed some help. Maybe now we can we can get to the Super Bowl. Good. Hope your stadium collapses. Hargrave's an incredible addition. Can you imagine him lined up next to Joey Bosa? On, on uh, I mean, it's incredible. Well, it goes to what I've said before, though. You find your strength and you make it stronger, and that's what they just did. Let's go over to Broncos country because apparently they're making moves in the legal tampering period. They have signed former Ravens guard Ben Powers, plan to sign him for a four-year deal. And also the Broncos plan to sign Mike McGlinchey, five years, $87.5 million, 50 guaranteed. And then there's also rumors out there. They're inquiring about both Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, and K.J. Hamler. Your thoughts on the Broncos day? Good look at trading all their receivers. All of their receivers. Great. Sounds like a sick plan. Go ahead. What do you want to do? I none of it matters if they if they can't get Russell Wilson's head out of his ass. Yeah, I was gonna say. I I guess this is a double down. Sean Payton is. I got to get these guys out. I'm gonna bring in new guys, and I can fix Russell Wilson. We'll see. I I don't think this experiment is gonna work in Denver. It's it's expensive. Because now you're paying your QB and your coach a ton of money. But, yeah, they're getting rid of all their wide receivers, which tells me that Peyton feels like it was the receiver's fault, not Russell Wilson's. Let's get your complete thoughts on this. We've kind of brushed around it. But the Bears are signing former Eagles linebacker TJ Edwards to a three-year deal. He gets $19.5 million over three years, $12 million guaranteed your thoughts on that signing cheap i mean look he's a try hard guy he doesn't have elite measurables he doesn't have elite athleticism but he's a smart kid and in a really talented defense he was very productive well now you go to chicago they don't have that talent but they didn't overpay seemed like a little bit of a hometown discount i'm okay with it but and i think he's the type of player he's only going to be as good as what you put around him and it seems to me like the, the bears are because they got him at a great price it's telling me that they're trying to get value they're not looking for that big splash player they need a lot of players whether it's the draft free agency they got nothing yeah this one is a giant rumor because trey wingo is reporting that is it is a done deal with the jets and aaron Rodgers. no one else is is grabbed onto the story, though. We all know we go to Trey Wingo for news. Except the only one that's jumped onto the story would be two Jets players who are tweeting out. Garrett Wilson tweets out, I can finally enjoy my vacay now. Y'all should see this smile on my face right now. And then Gardner joins in and says, oh, man, say man. And a lot of laughing and happy faces in his tweet. Um, I mean... It's not official It's yet? not official, but you know what? It's the, official. The, Trey Wingo said it's official. The Jets are getting a taste that you're never going to get a straight answer from Aaron Rodgers. This is his yes in a roundabout way. I'll be there, but don't report it. But you can go ahead and report it, but don't report it. So he's probably told some of the players they've heard it. If it's that simple, David, it should be done. I don't think any other team is really that interested in his shenanigans, to be honest with you. The Jets need a splash. You struck out on Zach Wilson. You need a QB. This is going to sell tickets. And they feel like they have a young enough team 
that he can help them get better and they can win that division. Jesus, just this, I'm so uncomfortable with this. <laughs> this one is a big black rumor because this one involves the, tra the draft. Carolina, of course, traded up for number one where rumors are flying that head coach Frank Wright loves Anthony Richardson. Oh, dear. You God. cannot tell me they traded up to number one to get Anthony Richardson? Sure you can. You know what? I think P.T. Barnum put it best. It's a sucker born every minute. So all you need is one coach and GM to fall in love with you. Yeah, I don't have a problem that Carolina wanted to move up. I have a problem with the price they paid because they got fleeced. But I understand wanting to get your new coach his guy and build from scratch, but now they have really no way to put any talent around them. And you just traded away the best weapon they have on offense and DJ Moore. And 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 everybody has said <laughs> that Anthony Richardson needs time, right? You gave away you gave away your time with that trade. You need somebody who could play for you immediately, not someone that you can stash, as Cookies likes to say. So if they're taking him, <laughs> good luck. Well, allegedly, there's going to be a lot of ladies that love this current sign that I'm about to talk about is Raiders and Jimmy G. They've agreed to a three-year deal worth $67.5 million, $34 million guaranteed. It's going to be a lot of happy ladies He's going to be selling a lot Vegas. of meatball subs in Vegas. Or delivering them. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good signing for the Raiders? If you want your quarterback to have a permanent groin injury on a weekly basis, sure. <laughs> Jimmy G in Vegas? What are you kidding me? Uh, well, I guess I think it was one of those, okay, we could not get our guy in Aaron Rodgers. Does Nike make body condoms? Okay. <laughs> don't don't hate that man because he's beautiful. I don't. I just that's the worst place you could put that guy. The starting quarterback. See. I, I, of I the was, Raiders, and he's on the cover of GQ, and you're in Vegas, and he's single. What, are you kidding me? See, I would say South Beach and Miami would be the absolute worst, but yeah, you're right. I just, uh, David, <laughs> here's the thing. God, Jimmy G is going to get $34 million guaranteed to basically play the same role that he did in San Francisco. Raiders will draft a quarterback, and he'll be the quarterback for maybe the next two years until that guy's ready. So they they can go they can go get Will Levis and sit him. Let's close it out with this one because there was a rumor out that Kansas City was looking to trade for uh, left tackle Laramie Tunzel. Well, no need for that anymore because the Kansas City Chiefs are signing <laughs> Chiefs. They're signing Jawan Taylor wow. to a four year, eighty million dollar deal, sixty guaranteed, Whew. which means they're going to let Orlando Brown walk. And if I'm Jacksonville, I call him. Because Jacksonville needed to hang on to Juwan Taylor. I can't believe the amount he got. That's Trent Williams level money. It is. Twenty a year? Wow. It is, yeah. I just wow. saw that up on the screen. So yeah. Yeah, if you're Jacksonville, I mean it basically becomes a trade. Call him up. <laughs> you gotta do something. That Whoa. is damn. And yeah, you gotta protect Trevor Lawrence at I, all costs. I know I said that was the last one, but this just coming in from Ian Rappaport. The Bears are signing star linebacker Tremaine Edmonds. Not sure on numbers yet, but that is happening just now. But the, the Bears, you know what? You're going to hear the Bears' name often because they have a ton of money, and now they have picks, and they don't have a team. It's down to Wagner or David. Brad Holmes better get one of them, too. Now, for Edmonds, I know this cost is going to be something stupid. He's younger. He's 25. Yeah. So maybe now you go with what you say, get the older guy, get him to a two-year deal, $23, 25000000 million. If you, if you called up Levante David, went two at 25, does he really say no? Got a chance to win, play indoors. You know what? Here's the thing. I think he would actually, he would take that call, he would write down a number, and he would keep shopping himself uh -huh. to see if he gets a better deal. Unfortunately, the Lions are still not that team that you're like, oh, my God, I'm on it. You Damn. know what? Yeah, maybe he ends up in our poor poverty team in San Francisco.